So hey, what are you doing here? Oh right, I was going to record a book review for Booker. Ooh, okay. No, this is fine. I'm totally ready. Let me just... This was the book that I was going to do a review on. Just give me a quick second. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, my name is Sarah Freshly and welcome back to Freshly Read Books. So today we're going to be talking about The War of the Poor by Eric VR. This book. <laughs> oh, I should also say this was translated by Mark Polit. Siati? Mark Polizzati. But anyways, <laughs> this book. Well, it's as long as one of the short stories from Mariana Enriquez's The Dangers of Smoking in Bed, also nominated for the same award. I haven't even mentioned that yet. This is a review for one of the books that have been shortlisted for the International Booker 2021 prize. So of course we know at this point that this book has not won, but it made it to the shortlist. And uh, also on the shortlist was The Dangers of Smoking in Bed, a collection of short stories. One of those stories is about as long as this book is. Like, this is a tiny book. And what do I want to say about this book? I mean, I know what I wanted to say before I read it. I wanted to come on here and be like, this book despite being so short, it didn't need to be any longer and everything that was written throughout the book was just so good that it didn't matter how long it was and it totally summed up this whole thing and everything is great and this book is great. That's what I wanted to say. However, <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't like this book. Ugh. Like, is he a good writer? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Like the, the writing is incredible. I really wish he'd written something different. <laughs> no, okay. Let's go back. Let's talk about the synopsis. So this book is about uh, the, the history of like Christianity and how the, there's all these promises to impoverished people that if you live this good life, if you live this pious life, then you're going to get like all of these things in heaven. Uh, but also they need to like contribute towards the church and they need to be like doing all these things for the church while other people that are higher up are wealthy right now here on earth, not in heaven, but right the second. And they're still all struggling and being like, wait, <laughs> do we have to wait till we're dead to get anything good out of this? Specifically, this follows Thomas Munzer, who was not on the side of Martin Luther, but also not on the side of the Roman Catholic Church. He was instead just on the side of the people, specifically the poor, and wanted to build them up. So as a premise, this I was excited about reading this one, despite the fact that it is firmly placed in a specific time in history, which is not typically the types of books that I go for, but there's a reason why I bought this book as opposed to just borrowed it from the library or gotten an ebook. I really expected to like it and I can't really explain why. I was interested in the topic as a whole and I was interested in the fact that it was so small. And it seems kind of silly, right? But that was a weird kind of selling point to me because I thought like this guy's got guts because he went and wrote like a 60 something page book and was like, yup. And then Booker was like, mm -hmm, we'll take it. And then it was shortlisted. So like I said, I wanted to come on here and be like, I loved it. But unfortunately I did not. Uh, also because of its length, I guess. Um, I'm not going to be breaking this up into different themes. I guess there's technically three things that I want to talk about, which is uh, the length, the layout of it, and the language. I wanted to say writing there because I think that's more appropriate, um, but I couldn't resist that nice alliteration. So I'll start off by talking about my favorite part about this book, which was the writing, the language. It was beautiful. The author did a great job and the translator did a great job because I, ugh, the words are so good. <laughs> the words in this book are really good. It's just, it's so beautifully written that 
it only made me more want to like it. So it was a little bit more of a letdown when I did it. I wanted to share with you specifically one passage um, because I already know this is going to be a very short video. So why not? So this is about Munzer. He quoted the gospels and added exclamation marks and they listened to him. And passions began to stir, for those weavers knew full well that if you pulled at a thread, the whole tapestry would unravel. The miners knew that if you dug deep enough, the whole tunnel would collapse. And so they began to realize they'd been lied to. They had long felt troubled and afflicted. There were many things they didn't understand. They had a hard time understanding why God, the God of beggars, crucified between two thieves, needed such pomp. Why his ministers needed luxury of such embarrassing proportions. Why the God of the poor was so strangely on the side of the rich, always with the rich. Why his words about giving up everything issued from the mouths of those who had taken everything. Like... How good is that? How good is that writing? That's beautiful. And yet, <laughs> and yet, and yet, and yet. So you know now what I loved about this book. The one thing I loved about this book was the writing itself. But what I didn't love about this book was the length of it. I think that well, okay, it's a combination between the length and the layout of this book, because I think had it had a different layout, then it could be the same length and maybe still pack this punch. But this covers such a large span of time within such a short book. Uh, and not only that, like you already think it's a short book, but then you have full pages that are just blank. And like often it's, they're very quick chapters. Um, and and they just, they leave you wanting so much every chapter and not in a good way. <laughs> like I'm okay with like leaving a chapter and wanting more. Uh, but instead I would leave a chapter and be like, that's the chapter about this thing. And I want more from it. And I know I'm about to go jump time or into a different area. Oh, and it's not told uh, entirely chronically. So that means that you're spending a lot of the book trying to like kind of keep up with where you're at in this timeline. And for a book that's so short, that's a big ask especially when you figure it out and then the chapter's over and then you have to like figure it out again. And it's, it's a lot. So I think that if the layout had been different, if maybe the pieces were laid out in a different order or if it focused on a smaller section in time or maybe just a broader uh, idea of all of this rather than being so detailed about some scenes and uh, having so many of them, but all like shoved together in this little book, if it had some different layout, I think that it could have stayed the same length and still been very impactful. On the other hand, I feel like it could have kept this layout, but been much longer of a book or not even much longer, but like twice the size would still be a very short book. Like 120 pages isn't that much. So I feel like it could have doubled in length and then maybe kept the same layout and then it would have been more impactful as well. Uh, but this book is what it is. And like, I gotta give him credit. I do think it takes guts to be like, here's a 60 page book. For me, it just didn't do it. And it was a bit of a disappointment. I mean, at least it was a very quick read, so that was okay. Uh, but yeah, overall, didn't love it, but loved the writing. Uh, I am definitely interested in picking up the other book that he's written. What is that other book called? Oh yeah, The Order of the Day. Uh, so I'm interested in picking up The Order of the Day because I wouldn't mind just like reading this writing more and it's translated by the same guy. So, you know, that's something. <laughs> that's something that I got out of this. Um, but really that's it for this video. I mean, I don't have a lot else to say. I guess I do want to say, uh, just because I didn't like this book doesn't mean that other people didn't. I feel like I talked very definitively, like if he did this, then I would have liked it. But those are obviously all personal opinions because there's very clearly a panel of judges that really like this book. And I know other people that have really liked this book. So, you know, that's not to say that this isn't a good book. It's just to say that it didn't do it for me. And I was a little bit disappointed by it. But anyways, super short video for this one. I uh, didn't want to make it any longer than the book, of course. <laughs> and I will link to an interview that was done with the author and translator in the description. And yeah, 
Uh, if you like this video, please do consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.